Hello and welcome to Car Facts. Today with a representative of the great trinity, the McLaren P1. So let's start. Unlike many think, the P1 is not supposed to be a successor of the F1, even though the name certainly helped to inspire it. That honor goes to the speed tail. The name of the P1 comes from the Grand Prix racing. The first starting position is here called the P1 position. A total of 375 cars were built of the McLaren P1. All were sold out in the first month. There are more examples of each of the LaFerrari and the 918 Spider. There were 21 prototypes of the McLaren Pre-1, 13 experimental prototypes, 5 validation prototypes and 3 pre-production prototypes. Many of them were then refurbished and sold. If you look at all promotional videos and report photos, you can see that all P1s have one of two license plates the P100V and the P100U. Both were intended by McLaren purely as promotional vehicles and were only driven by journalists in their lives. They are now at the facilities of McLaren and get notes sold. All P1s were hand built by 82 technicians at the McLaren's production center in Woking, UK. The four-stage assembly process took 17 days per car. Despite its hybrid powertrain, the P1 was designed to be as light as possible. It weighs a proportional light 1395 kg. Techniques and materials from Formula 1 were used. The outer skin even consists of only 5 parts for this purpose in order to save gluing and joining points. The carbon ceramic brakes of the P1 were developed by McLaren's Formula 1 partner Akebono. They used materials from the Ariane 5 rocket to improve the heat absorption of the brake discs. There is talk of just under 80k just to replace the brake system of the car. Each P1 could be customized by the buyer at the time. All colors of all components could be designed differently. Means there is each P1 only one time in the world. The engine alone of the P1 delivers 727 HP. Together with the electric motor it comes to unbelievable 903 HP and thus makes it from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. If the normal version of the P1 isn't enough for you, you could order one of 35 racetrack versions, the P1 GTR. It is almost 50 kilograms lighter and has around 1000 HP. The tuner Levante Motorsport even managed to get 5 car of this more extreme version road legal. If you want more interesting car facts, please check out my channel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching.